We're going to do 4.1 today. Um, you should have this attached on Canvas that you need to copy into your um, comp book. You need to answer all the blue questions in one and submit them to me on Canvas in the text box. And then this is the stuff from the book. Here's all the blue questions that's attached on Canvas too. And so we're going to go through and pretty much do all the blue questions together. Um, you'll just have to do number one at the end and then submit it all to me, okay, to get the 10 points for this lap. So in 4.1, it says place five cubic centimeters of water in one test tube. So I've got five cubic centimeters in this one and 20 cubic centimeters of water in a second test tube. And then we want to put 0.15 grams into each test tube and see what happens. Then we're going to put 1.15 more and see what happens, then 0.15 more and see what happens. So we're going to do it three times. And um, we're just going to write in what happens here as we go through this. So we're going to go ahead and put the 0.15 grams of blue solid into the test tube, into each test tube. Um, we're going to take a second then and shake this up and see if we can see if we can see a difference in these two. Okay, that should be pretty good. So the first blue question says, did all the solid dissolve in both test tubes? You can see that there's no solid left in the bottom. There actually is a little bit left in this one. Let me shake a little bit longer. And if it's not all dissolved, it will. So the first blue question, did all the solid dissolve in both test tubes? Yes, it did. Do you think that each cubic centimeter solution contains the same mass of dissolved material? Well, if we look at it individually, you can see that it's the same shade of blue all the way throughout. This one, although a different shade of blue, it's the same shade all the way through. Both tubes contain the same mass of dissolved material. Um, is the shade of the color the same in both tubes? Well, if you look at it, you can see for sure this one right here is darker than this one. So the five cubic centimeter tube is, is darker than the 20 cubic centimeter tube. The fourth blue question, will another 0.3 grams of orange solid or blue solid in this case dissolve? Um, try it, but be patient. So we're gonna try it. Um, all you need to answer on that one is yes or no. It's just a hypothesis. So we're gonna put 0.15 more in. Put the lid back on or the stopper back on there. Shake up each of them. All right, let's go through and answer the questions. So the first question says, this one's actually not quite dissolved yet. That looks pretty good. The first question, The first question says, did 0.6 or 0.3 grams of blue solid dissolve as well in the 20 as in the 5? The 5 took longer to dissolve. I had to shake it a little bit longer than the 20. Um, is the color uniform in each solution? In other words, is it the same shade of blue all the way through? And yes, it is. So that's blue question number six. Then blue question number seven, is the shade of the color the same in both solutions? 
Well, you can see this one's definitely darker still than this one. Then it says add another 0.3 grams of, or actually 0.15 grams of blue solid to each solution. So we're going to take the lid off again and put another 0.15 grams in. And we'll take just a second, shake these up too. So blue question number eight says, how much do you have in each test tube? Well, we put 0.15 in three times. So that's 0.45 grams. And then blue question number nine, what do you observe? Well, this test tube is already dissolved. This one, definitely has some undissolved solid left at the bottom of it. So on blue question number nine, we're gonna say undissolved solid left in the five cubic centimeter tube. Um, so then it says how much blue solid you think there would have to be in the 20 cubic centimeter test tube before the solid stopped dissolving. Test your prediction. We're not gonna test it. But we do know that 0 .45, 0 0.3 grams dissolved in 5, but 0.45 grams did not dissolve in 5. So let's go do some math up here. And let me erase some of what I've already got up here. So if 0.3 grams dissolves in 5, how much is that in 20? So we need to scale it up. So that's going to be 1.2 grams and 20 cubic centimeters does dissolve, but 0.45 grams in 5 equals what in 20? That's 1.8 grams in 20 cubic centimeters does not. So we're going to say between 1.2 and 1.8 grams it will stop dissolving. So that's BQ number 10. So make sure you send those to me um, to get your 10 points.